Welcome to this episode of Click to Deploy, a series where we show you how easy it is to deploy solutions from the Google Cloud Marketplace. In this episode, we'll be reviewing how to set up a Redis instance via the Cloud Marketplace. In case you're unfamiliar, Redis is an in-memory data structure store used as a database, cache, and message broker. Let's start by searching for Redis in the Marketplace. You'll see that we have a few different deployment options from virtual machines, container images, to Kubernetes apps. Each deployment may be deployed with different operating systems, security patches, or server shapes. For this demo, we'll choose the Redis Enterprise Cloud option. Redis Enterprise Cloud delivers fully managed Redis Enterprise as a service. It offers all the capabilities of Redis Enterprise while taking care of the operational aspects associated with operating Redis in the most efficient manner on Google Cloud Platform. The landing page will display information about the pricing, documentation, and support. The pricing information displays a high-level estimate of charges. Pricing for the solution is based on hourly consumption of Redis Enterprise shards. Let's click the subscribe button to launch this solution. Start by choosing a billing account and agreeing to the terms below, which are the terms about subscription fee billed monthly and canceling the service. You'll also notice pricing calculator, which can help you see estimated costs based on factors like time frame, shard hours, and data transfer costs. We'll choose manage on provider. From here, you create a Redis subscription. Choose Google Cloud Platform as your vendor. Choose a name. For this video, we'll choose TestDB. Now choose a DB size. For this video, I'll choose one gigabyte and 25,000 throughputs per second. As you can see, our database has been created and connected to Google Cloud. Now let's test the database. We'll run this Python script to see if the database is working. Please note, for the purpose of this demo, we use the external DB endpoint. But we recommend that in production, customers are using internal DB endpoints within their VPC peering connection for security and performance reasons. There you have it, a Redis instance with the click of a button. If you enjoy this video, please subscribe and hit the like button below. We encourage you to check out the GCP Marketplace and deploy this solution on your own. Thanks for watching.